And the missile that North Korea tested on Tuesday flew 2,800 miles into space for more than 50 minutes. Experts believe that missile has enough range to hit any target virtually inside the continental United States. And South Korea says they can't rule out the possibility that the North will complete its nuclear program within one year. Some horrifying facts, if true. Joining us in studio to discuss these latest developments is Dean Chang of the Heritage Foundation. Dean, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. So this sounds rather bone chilling, the advances they've made with this test on Tuesday. Um, is this a game changer? It's not a game changer in the sense that we've seen this coming, we've watched the evolution of their program. What it is is yet another new stage. We have seen the North Koreans develop their ICBMs, their nuclear weapons, now they're extending the range. They're living up to what they keep saying, which is we are going to hit anywhere we want to in the United States. So when you say the stages, it sounds like they've got the missile and they've got the nuclear warhead, but they have yet to put them together and deliver them to the United States. Is that right? That's right. So this test, it looks like, was of something around 150 kilograms. They would put it at the very low end of the size of a nuclear warhead. North Korea is probably not quite there yet. But given the pace of the development of both their missiles and their hydrogen bomb program, where we once thought maybe we had five, maybe even ten years, now we're probably looking at maybe one, two, or three years. Which is just appalling and frightening, I would imagine, to most Americans hearing about this today. It's something that we um, imagine as being much farther off. So the idea that it's immediate reality is, is really horrifying. Right now, you've got Hawaiians hearing the air raid sirens. The question is, are we going to start hearing that in Chicago? and Washington and Denver. So what provoked this test on Tuesday? We know Pyongyang likes to be very strategic about when they launch these missile tests. It's usually either in response to something or you know, a major event in the US like a holiday or um, a preview to something. Were they sending a specific message here? With I the think timing? they were sending a couple of messages, possibly. One of them was, hey, we've behaved ourselves for 60 days, but don't forget we're here. Um, You're referencing the fact that they hadn't launched tests for a couple of months, right? There had right. kind of been radio silence. Exactly. Another part could be the president's visit uh, was during that period, and it is quite possible that various players, the Chinese, the Russians, etc., got them to be quiet for a period, but now that the president is back, that could well be the precipitating event to say, hey, you know what, I behaved myself, now it's your turn to go back to being afraid. So it seems like the North Korea situation has sort of turned on a dime. I mean, just two weeks ago, President Trump returned from his tour and was touting a success, largely successful visit. He managed to rally our Asian allies um, in defiance of the North Korean nuclear threat. He claimed to have made some substantive progress on the nuclear issue. Was that not true, or have things just deteriorated rapidly? No, I think that we need to take a couple of steps back and realize that the North Koreans are operating according to their schedule. And their schedule, as I said earlier, is to develop an ICBM and develop a nuclear warhead on top of that ICBM. I don't think anything anyone has done, not us, not the increased Chinese pressure, not uh, South Korean and Japanese pressure, has really slowed that down, mostly because the North Koreans are isolated. They're, they're not completely beholden to the Chinese or anyone else. And they, this message may actually have been even aimed at Beijing to say, you are not the boss of me. I might be willing to be quiet for a little bit, but at the end of the day, I'm going to decide whether or not I'm going to test missiles. A great you. reminder that they are acting on their own timeline and in their own national security interests. Dean, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you again for having me.